What's good, my people? What's good, my people? It is another edition of Lockdown with Nick on Come On Now, the podcast, baby. And we're going to get right into it. It is football season, and we are talking Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott just possibly saved his career in the Dallas Cowboys season last night. In a 20-17 to win over the Steelers, Dak Prescott threw for 350 yards, 29 for 42, couple of play- touchdowns, but, 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 but. How did he save his career in the season? It was a play. It was fourth quarter. It's, hmm, let's see, second down. And they're at like the one or two yard line. And they hand the ball off to Ricky Dowdle. They're running back. He goes up. He dies. The ball gets pushed up. That Prescott instinctively dies on the ball. No care for his body. No nothing. All he care about is winning. I didn't know he had that in him. That possibly just changed how we think about his, his career. It definitely might change the impact of what it happens to the Dallas Cowboys season, who looked, you know, like they were dead a couple of weeks ago by getting blistered by the Saints and then getting blistered by the Baltimore in the run game. But now when your quarterback dives on the floor in the situation where you need him, where he could have literally just let the ball just stay there and let the Steelers get the ball, that might have just changed their season and his career, how we look at him in the lens of how we look at him because we've seen a quarterback in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to call out his name, Cam. We've seen a quarterback in the Super Bowl not dive on that ball in that same situation because he cared about his body and injuries more than he cared about winning. And then ever since that moment, how did that quarterback feel? Hmm, he went 30 and 34 for the rest of his career. He had one more season over 500 in winning percentage. That could have been a killer for that could have been a killer for, for that. Nobody in that locker room might have looked at him the same way. Nobody else might have even cared to play for him anymore. But now we say, damn, I know how I would feel as a, as a as a person in that locker room who played football. I'm gonna say, damn, that quarterback who's making 60 million a year just put his whole body on the line for us to win. Motherfuckers, y'all, y'all gonna, ju- gonna do the same thing along with me. Cause we're gonna do anything for him to win a fucking game. And that's what I and that's what I came from that. That's what I came. That's what I drew from last night game. That moment right there changed everything of how I felt about Dak Prescott. I thought he was part of the problem. I thought him, along with how the Cowboys, you know, orchestrated their organization, started from the top down, the PP watcher. I thought that they would never be able to get it done. But now this just might change the whole dynamics of that locker room because everybody is saying, damn, I'm putting my all on the line just because that quarterback did it too, and I'm going to do it too. I just seen it. One play, one play changed his whole career. It could have went down. It could have could have went down. It could have went up. And I think now you actually gave the Cowboys a chance of actually being contenders this season by winning that game. Because they don't win that game. They go into a tough stretch, and then they don't have any trust in their quarterback. Because they, they they would have saw that he just damn near gave up on the season. He'd have just bitched up. But what they did see is somebody who who's all in. And when you're playing with somebody who's all in and he's the leader, no doubt everybody around has to step up and, and be all in now. Because you're not all in, you get the fuck out that locker room. You have to get out the locker room. And we have seen them play a lot better. Their their run game, they stopped the running game last night. Only 3.5 yards to carry to the Steelers team that has a quarterback that can run and has a, a, a good running back in Najee Harris. You saw them control the Giants the week before in the run game. And that was their biggest problem, getting blistered and getting punched in the fucking mouth. And without their, their, their defensive ends, both of their defensive ends, which I think one of them is, you know, he's probably the, part of the problem in the run game because you can just run at him because he's too small. He really should be a linebacker separate and pass situation. But right now, that locker room had changed the whole perception of his whole career by that one damn play. Jumping on the ground, saving the season for the Cowboys, saving his career. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Was that play, is that play going to be a defining play for the Dallas Cowboys this season? I think it is. No doubt about it in my mind as a player. I'm telling y'all, that shit just changed their season. The Cowboys, be on the lookout for them this year. They're, they're, they might get on a roll. I know there's. Their schedule looked daunting, but if they could get through these next few games, three and one or four and one, four and two, 
Look out for them, man. And it all started with one fucking play when they were down and they needed it. And the game would have been over. And the Steelers would have snuck up out of there in the horrible conditions of what that game was last night. But right now, they have a quarterback. They have a leader who can – who everybody's like, hey, you my boy. And I don't think he ever had that with that locker room. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the Dallas Cowboys and that one play and how it changed their season.